Hi there, I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you six ways to count in Excel. And the first one is going to be how to count just columns with what? Numbers. So we have one, two, three, four, and then five. So this is the column that contains numbers. We just want to count that. So in order to do that, we're going to use the count function within excel okay so we want to count just numbers so that's the first the first one is going to be what count what numbers so just have to type equal to then use the count and then just select the entire word column this way and this is going to count only the numbers just close this and hit enter you can see even though we have what seven numbers over here from our row we have seven records over here but we are getting only five so using the count function, it will only count column with what numbers. So you're going to leave the blank space and then also going to leave anything that is not a number. Okay, so the blank and this part is left out. So it's going to count only the numbers. So this is the first one that we need to look at. Count only numbers within what a specific column. Use the count function. Okay. The next one is to count everything within that particular cell. So this time around, we want to count, but I want to count everything, even including what this. That's the this is not a number, but we want to count everything. So in order to do that, just go ahead and uh, use the function equal to count a. So use this. So we want to count everything, and then let's select this entire column now, and then close this. So you can see we are getting what six. There's nothing here, so it's not going to count it. So this is blank. Okay, so the second option is how to count everything within what? Your column. So this is going to count this as well, even though this is not a number. Counts just the blank cell where we have no value. We want to count the blank cell. So that's going to be our third function, okay? The third ways of counting. So just go ahead and then use the word count but we are going to use a count blank so this time i want to count cells that has no value so select the entire cell now and hit enter you can see we are getting one so this only cell this is the only cell without what value so we're going to give us what one okay so that's our third ways of counting in excel okay what about if you want to count with criteria? We want to count columns with criteria. We can just go ahead and then use our next strategy to do that. Okay. So let's say we want to count columns. When we come to items column, we want to count columns that contain only pain. We want to count columns that contain pain. We can use this, the next strategy to do that. Okay. So we're going to use the count if to do this. So in order to do count with criteria, just enter. We are going to use the count if. So select this and then the criteria. We need to first select our range. So we want to count it within this range. So we want to specify this and bring comma. So what is the criteria? What do we want to count within this particular column? We want to count pen. So I put some pen. I put it within this cell. So let me just select that cell. So in this case, it's going to count column that contain pen. So in this case, we have one and two. So we should be getting two. So you can see we are getting two. So you can use the count if to just count columns that have a specific criteria. You want to select just something, select specific information within the particular column. You can use the count if to do that. Okay, we can use count if again, but this time around we have something called a word card. So this we can specify that even though we want to count pen we want to count pen but we want anything that contains the word pen in it and we have pencil as well so we want to count pen including pencil anything that has p e n anything that has pen in it p n we want to count count that so the next option is going to be the same count if by this time around we are using what we call the word card over here so let's go ahead and then 
the option is to use the word card. So do, to do that, we're going to use the same thing, the count if. So we're going to say equal to count. And then we select a count. We want to select what? The range. So we select that range. And we want to count anything that contains what the pen in it. P N. So what we'll do is that we'll bring, we'll bring comma and then we'll bring quote asterisk then then quote and then we'll bring the oh, quote asterisk quote and then you bring this symbol and then we want to specify what we are looking for so anything that contain p and we want to select that so bring the symbol once again and then we'll go ahead and still bring quotes asterisk what quote and then close the bracket so what this means is that we want this range we want to select everything from this range but anything that contain what pen we want to what select it okay we want to select that so that is what our fifth strategy okay that is our fifth way of counting in excel so let's just hit enter so you can see we are getting four so we have pen here we have p and also part of pencil if you come you have the same thing we don't have that in blender but we have this as well so you can see we have four containing what the p in so it's going to select that okay so the last part is also going to be so amazing but before that remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so we're going to deal with the last one now and the last one we want to count multiple with multiple criteria so the last one we want to count with multiple criteria okay so we want to specify we want to count from two columns even though we want to count pen but we want to find out that the pen that we want to count is having a quantity more than what more than 10. so we're going to use that same strategy but this time around we are not going to use the count if but it's rather going to be count ifs so this is going to be count So this is going to be count ifs. So the ifs with x. So this is a bit strategic. So we'll first go ahead and then select this column, the first range. We are selecting this. We'll bring comma. After the comma, we want to select pen from this column. So select that. We'll bring comma again. And then we want to select pen from this particular column, but we want a pen that has more than 10. So we need to go ahead and select this. We want to select pen from this, but this time around, the pen needs to be what more than what 10 in quantity. So you bring comma into you bring open and then what bring greater or equal to this way and you'll bring the symbol once again and i want anything that is more than 10 the quantity of the pen we want to select need to be worth more than 10 and then just select that and then close the brackets so this particular one is going to select pen for us but the pen needs to be worth more than what 10. so if you hit this we have only one pen more than 10 so we should be getting a pen but the one is with 16. So if you hit enter, you can see we are getting one. So it's only this that contain what? 16. So this is the only one more than 10. So it will select this for us. So basically, these are six ways to count in Excel and have several other strategies that we'll be talking about. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the post notification so that you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Till I come away again. Bye-bye.